it's all about sex because everything is about sex. Look at the flies, look at the moths, bees, dogs, adults, old people. It actually doesn't have any sex in the movie. It's all about sex. So in that sense, my movie is about sex. And most people don't dare to put their sexuality out on the line and, and tell you their private crap. Not that this is my private crap. Don't think this is my private crap, because it's not. It's imagination taken like a million zillion times. And whatever you do, don't think this is me. Don't think this character in the movie is me. She's a horny, awkward divorce librarian who has a lot of sexual short circuits. Well, I was doing this little thing with a couple of people um, trying out this orgasm thing. And one of the guys like, you're having an orgasm? It looks more like a horror movie. Sex can be this muddy, messy, short-circuiting maze. And sometimes it can be phenomenal, right? But most of the time, for most of us, it's kind of haywire. And it's rare that we actually find that perfect person that we're in such incredible rhythm with, and it's just like phenomenal. And if you do more power to you, but this is not that movie. <laughs> Definitely not. You will be disappointed that there's no sex, but you won't care because you'll be laughing your pants off so much. It is not porn. It's, that's all about your own pornographic sexual fears. That uh, so the motto of this story, which has now gone on for four episodes is, don't be a porn freak. Sexmonsoon.com, baby.